Google Lens came out in 2017, and it's a way of using the camera on your phone to understand a lot more in your surroundings. Now, I haven't really heard a lot of people talking much about it, but it's something I use a lot every day, and so I thought, why not show off exactly what Google Lens is and how it works and what you can do with it. Let's check it out. So let's talk about how you access Google Lens. Let's start with iOS over here on an iPhone XR. There are two ways to do that. Uh, you can use the Google app and you'll see this lens icon right here in the search bar. And that's how you can just turn on Google Lens. Alternatively, you can also go to the Google Photos app to find the lens icon right here. And that's what we have here on the OnePlus 7 Pro. And you can tap the Google Lens icon over here to get its magic working. Now there's other ways of accessing Google Lens on Android phones. Basically it's built into the phones because Google Assistant is available. And you can do this by just accessing Google Assistant. And when you move up, you'll see the Google Lens icon right here. Press it and you'll get access to Google Assistant. And of course, several Android phones already have Google Lens baked right into the camera app. It's like here on the Google Pixel 3a, you can access Google Lens straight through the camera app. So I just got out of a meeting and I got someone's business card. So I don't really wanna add all of this information manually into my phone, but Google Lens can help with that and expedite the process. So all I need to do is point the camera with Google Lens open at the business card and it will scan the card and understand all of the text. So now all I need to do is tap on various text and it'll give me things to do. Like if I tap on this person's Twitter handle, uh, I can copy the text or I can search it. If I tap on the email address, it'll give me options to email that person directly or add that person as a contact. And if, it, if I tap on the address, I can navigate directly there if so desired. So basically makes things a lot faster and act more accessible just by looking at a business card. We just got these plants in the office and I don't really know what they are. Chema, Chemedoria elegans, Camadoria elegans? Well, I did confirm with the receptionist that that is the exact name for the plant. I just don't know how to pronounce it. Now say you're walking down the street or you're in a subway and you just see something you really like, whether it's a shirt, shoes, a carpet, a sofa, whatever really, uh, Google Lens can help you find out what that is. All you need to do is take your camera, open up Google Lens and point it at, for example, the pink sneakers that I'm wearing from Nike. And you'll see these little circles popping up. All you need to do is tap on them and now you'll get a feed of similar looking products. And there we go, that's exactly the pair that I'm wearing right now. So it definitely works and is very accurate, but of course you might have to sift through a few other options. And this works for more than you know clothing. You can also do it for furniture if that's something that you want, or like say this chair and you really like it. Just point Google Lens at it, tap on the circle, and now you'll get similar, if not almost, ex I think this is, act this is exactly the same thing that's sitting right in front of us. So again, you can tap on it and you're getting an option to purchase it from a retailer. One thing I really like using Google Lens for is to find out what buildings or landmarks I'm looking at. And this has really worked well in the past for things that I really didn't expect Google Lens to figure out, like a really old church or something like that. But of course, it'll also work with the more well-known landmarks like the Empire State Building. Now all I need to do is point it at the building and sometimes I might need to tap on the Empire State Building. And there you go, I tapped on the circle next to it and it says Empire State Building. You can share the details, you you can call the Empire State Building, you can get maps directly to it, you can search if you want to just find more about it, and there are some pictures over here as well that will show you some of the views from the top of the building, as well as reviews of the place in, in case you're thinking about visiting as well. Sometimes you want to find more information on a photo that you may have taken beforehand. Well, if you're in Google Photos, the Google Lens icon is there. That's my dog, and Google Lens can also help identify breeds. Indian Spitz, American Eskimo Dog, Volpino, potentially a mix of all of that, and some comparison pictures to dogs that look similar. And, uh, you know, I don't really know what my dog is, but all of these came up in uh, when, when, when asking around, so pretty close, I guess, but with dogs, it's never really gonna be that accurate.
Now, Google Lens can also do real-time translation, which is handy if you're, you know, in a new country, you don't really speak the language. Currently, we're going to do a quick translation on the text there in the subway. And I have set it to French, and just by pointing at it, you can see it automatically changing the text right there to French. Whether that's accurate, well, I called someone who I know that speaks French, and she said uh, she doesn't know if it's grammatically accurate, but it more or less makes sense. By far one of the coolest things you can do with Google Lens is finding the best things to order on a menu that other people like. And the way you do that is getting Google Lens out and going to the dishes option and basically just point it at the menu. You can see it work its magic. Now this is a new feature, so not all restaurants will have this working perfectly and not all options will be ready, but it should be pulling this option from the internet. And you can see it pulled up grilled cheese and it's choosing what people are saying about Panera's grilled cheese specifically. So that's pretty neat that you can get real time uh, options for reviews right there, right as you're looking at the menu. So that's Google Lens. It's pretty impressive and certainly very helpful in day-to-day -day scenarios already with just being two years since its launch. And I can't imagine what it's gonna be like in five years at the rate computer vision is progressing.